look at putting electronic ignition into obviously an older car or a replacement I guess in a newer car in this case it's this is for a Datsun but it's not going to matter um, let's look at how easy it is to hook up an electronic ignition on an older car those are the two main things you'll need the distributor of course and a coil it would be different to a points coil in voltage a points coil probably still work probably you know the performance might be there and it, the coil probably won't last as long but it is as easy as the wiring anyway as easy as the positive wire which is usually red the earth blue or black positive goes to the positive side of the coil in most cases it's clearly marked negative goes to the negative side so that's pretty obvious the next part is where a lot of people get it wrong and that is you only need to power this side of the coil so if you're starting from scratch you could use a relay um, or you can find an existing wire on the car that has power when the key after start basically so when the key goes all the way through the reds and you start the car it has power then while the car is theoretically running so once you find that wire you can use it as a signal to run a relay and then run full 12 volts to the relay or you can just put it onto the positive side of the coil you might in some cases you might get interference that might cause the car to run on that's usually in um, older Australian cars probably American cars as well but Japanese cars I haven't had any problems with just running power to the positive side of the, the coil so that's straightforward and pretty much all electronic ignitions look like this this modules inside the ignition modules inside so other types might have the module on the outside but most replacement eBay distributors nowadays just they look like this one everything else you know it will look pretty much like your points distributor So here is a similar distributor fitted to the Datsun 720. You can see the wires just go over. In this case, I've used a E Series Falcon coil. Um, you can see the wires just go. I've tapped, literally tapped into the loom. Just found the with the test light, found the right wire to run power. And in this case, I've just cut into the loom, added the the plug for this type of coil. So yeah, pretty basic. Okay, so this is an easy way to find out which wires you're going to need. Um, in this case, we've, we've already got it hooked up, but you get the idea. So it's also a good way to test on an electronic ignition if it's your module that's failed or the coil itself. So, as an example, if, if your module is failed, the ignition module, you um, won't have a signal on this side or, or on either side of the... One post should, should be a signal, so an open and close, and the other side will be the obviously constant power when the, when the key's on, when the car's running. So, first we'll just we'll test this side, see what it looks like. Test light to earth. So when you're first putting the electronic ignition in, it's obviously imperative that you get that uh, the wires the, the right way around. Because if you don't have that power, and this happens a lot of the time. If you don't have that power to the positive side of the coil, then it's just not going to fire up. 
it, it might have positive when you turn the key, that positive might go away because it might be an accessory wire or something else. So that's when, you, if you don't have the wire, that's where you might want to wire up a relay, which is pretty straightforward. You can find that on the internet to how to wire up a four pin relay. So, obviously seeing when the um, test light was hooked to the negative side, you can see the power on the positive side. And when the test light was hooked to the positive, to positive on the battery or anywhere, you could see the, the negative trigger from the distributor. So that's the module, the ignition module that's inside the distributor in this case, opening and closing the coil. So just to go over that, if you had a car broken down on the side of the road with electronic ignition with an ignition module, and you're trying to test whether it was the module or the coil, this would be the best, this would be the quickest way to do it. With a test light, the negative side of the coil should open and close. So you should see an open and closing on that negative side. If you don't have that open and closing, you know it's ignition module. It's that, it's that simple. So that's the basics of wiring the um, electronic distributor. So then we'll have to go into getting ignition right first time. So without the flames, like on um, all the TV shows where they start a brand new motor and flames come out of the carby. That's because they have the distributor 180 degrees out. Not probably not their fault, but that's what happens. Let's let's go through how to avoid that and the quickest way to drop the distributor. And obviously, the quickest way would be find number one lead on the old distributor before you take it out. So once you know where the number one is on the distributor, you'll know that's the right top dead center because the crank. Turn the crank over. Find the top dead center mark, which would be down there. And then you could remove, uh, obviously, <laughs> on one top dead center, when the crank is up at, at either of the top dead, at either time the crank passes top dead center, the markings, the distributor will either be facing number one, or on the exhaust stroke, it'll be facing almost opposite. And it, it would fire the wrong spark plug. That's how you'd get a, a flame out of the carburetor. So. Um, or even a pop in your fuel injection system if you are running an electronic distributor as you would on a on a um, an EFI car except for obviously you can get the flames but you get the idea so set it up as in bring up top dead center make sure the the rotor button would be facing the number one lead and then you could take it out and then drop your electronic ignition in facing number one lead make sure the firing order's right, put it all together, wire it up, and obviously that'd work. The other way would be, if you didn't have the luxury of having a distributor in the engine, would be finding the, the proper top dead center, which isn't as hard as it sounds, but a lot of people get it wrong, so. Well, straightforward video on how to hook up an electronic ignition. Um, not very detailed, but you don't need to know, you know, scientific or complications of an electronic ignition. It's just getting an electronic ignition to run in your car and most most electronic ignitions you buy from eBay or from a parts store, they're going to run in your car. Obviously performance, high-end performance engines and stuff, they, they need distributors that are, and ignition systems that are tailor-made, but for an everyday, you know, shit box or something that you just want to make more reliable, the eBay distributors or any distributor you can buy electronic is going to work. You're not going to notice that, you know, the the timing vacuum advance or any like that's not exactly right because it's the engines the engines too either too low compression or it just doesn't need doesn't need the performance. If you like our channel so far. Most of the videos are fairly basic, um, you know, things that don't cost a lot of money. Videos about everyday stuff, keeping your car on the road, making it more reliable, and having a bit of fun. So, subscribe, like the video, comment, tell us if, uh, if we don't know what we're talking about, and yeah, just enjoy.